<laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> We're about to, what are we gonna do? We're going to a studio or something, I don't know. I hate this. All right. <laughs> We're gonna record some <laughs> and some stuff and some things, some cool things for you to listen to. So today we are driving from Easton, Pennsylvania out to Columbus, Ohio to record our new song, Vibration, with legendary Jeff Martin, producer, drummer, extraordinaire. It's going to be one of the most memorable weeks of our entire lives because this is the seed planted for greatness. How we doing, Michael? Huh? Hey, man. Doing? Super oh, fabulous. Oh, Having the best day ever, and things are getting better and better at an alarming rate. Woo-wee! How you feeling, Will? I feel, I feel good. You sure? I feel good. I feel good. What's up, Guylon? What's up, bro? We're here at uh, Vital Studios in near Columbus, Ohio. We got the uh, head chief executive here, Freddie. What's up, Freddie? Hey, what's up? And uh, getting really stoked, setting up day one vibration recording with a legend himself in the flesh, Mr. Jeff Martin, Exhibit A. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Exhibit A. Hey. Hey. I'm a legend in my own house. Hey. <laughs> I'm a legend in my home. In my home. With my cats. With my dog, I'm a legend. Anyway, mission, log, star date, drum Starting. take day. We're trying to get the quality drum take for the day so that tomorrow and the next day we can accomplish the rest of the song. Build guitar, bass, drums, vocals. It's gonna be awesome. I said drums, but we're. We're gonna do it. We're done with We're gonna do it twice. Okay, here we go. <laughs> we're gonna lay Well, so we recorded the song, or we recorded the drums at uh, Vital Studios, and uh, with Jeff Martin. And I mean, what can't, what hasn't been said? I guess you know, it's a beautiful studio, gorgeous large room that allows for up close miking of the drums, and then also getting some really great big room sounds to uh, in embellish that. It required a lot of focus. You know, there's a lot of enthusiasm goes into to prepping for the song and then takes on its own life you know, once the collaboration starts. So uh, I really enjoyed it. Everybody's super open, super creative, and I think we've really landed at a track that does justice to the song. And Jeff, not only is he a performer and multi-instrumentalist, but the breadth of projects that he works on uh, lends itself to him having a very educated ear, and not just technically, but from a feeling standpoint. So having worked with multiple genres, uh, he could really quickly understand where the song was going, the vibe of the song, the attitude of the song, and then coach me into, into uh, areas that I hadn't considered before creatively. So, uh, that kind of push, that pull, that challenge, and that, uh, that, that guidance is priceless. Well, yeah, so interestingly enough about vibration and, and uh, the vision of the song, it's gone through a lot of evolution you know, within the band itself. I think you know, in terms of what differed a little bit were some of the, the specific parts that I played. And again, there's like three drummers in the room, so everybody's hearing something a little different. So 
again, there's that creative process, that collaborative process. And as a drummer, while you can play a, a number of different dynamics, uh, uh, being a more physical person with the yoga and body work, I really love to be in my body. So being able to play wide open absolutely allowed me to convey things that my words won't get across ever. So when Galen approached us with um, this this song, it was kind of this very like straightforward, um, like classic rock type vibes. Like I was hearing a lot of you know Zeppelin influences and then maybe some uh, you know just like really heavy vocals sitting on the top of it. So I approached it like just like a very standard rock tune, just some beefy guitar, um, you know, ripping solo in the middle. Um, just just general just strumming and going wild and shit you know kind of like a sloppier type vibe um but now um with with it being more refined i feel like it, it's it still has elements of like standard classic rock but more modern sort of somewhat poppy vocal elements in it as well Like, I, I put more into the emotional expression of the performance of it than anything. You know, when, when I play this, I put most of my aggression into the performance element. Just all, all of my anger, rage, everything, you know, that I felt mad about in the past 23 years, and just drive into it. time in this band, I, I feel like I've grown um, and, and just in a couple of different ways, more so in the, uh, the you know, creative flow um, part of my musicianship. I feel like you know, it, it's sort of easier to tap into um, inspiration now than it was before. And skill to just be able to tap in to just insane creativity and inspiration and just like a moment's notice. You know, I aspire to like have that skill, and I feel like it's it's gotten easier for me to um, tap into a creative flow and just make something off the cuff, and then put down like, okay, what can we do with it now? I'm just hoping everybody, you know, ends up feeling happy and elevated and vibrated. Uh, um, you know, when they when they hear this for the first time.
we're back in Sunbury Studios with Mr. Jeff Martin about to record the bass uh, for our new song, Vibration. It's going to be super sick because Simon knows exactly the right tone that he wants to get out of his five-string Marcus Miller. And it's going to be so sick, especially with the beam off because that is the grit that everybody wants to hear, but they don't even know it. Okay, yeah. so it's just going to be yeah. super freaking deep. So, uh, yo, Will, let me get a little bit of that. Get a little bit of what was that, Michael? Work it. Michael, work it. Okay. Not on video. Anyways, back to business. Remembering. You know, I remember sitting on the floor, plugging in, like, you know, a shit ton of pedals with Simon. Just going, yo, let's see how far we can take this fuzzy ass bass tone. Like, let's push it to the extreme. We have the dial back, we'll dial it back. But never in a million years when you guys first came in did I think I'd be, you know, plugging a Jack White distortion pedal into one of your basses just to get the tone. And it's like, that's where we ended up. Um, and then, you know, try, working with Michael to get, like, some John Bonham-esque kind of, like, drum tones and drum fills going on and, like, really being like, no, man, like, hit those drums. Like, that was cool. That was fun. I think the overall genre of the group is, is very much still to be determined. It's the trajectory of it currently, and this is, you know, because by the time people see this, it's probably going to be a lot of songs out, but we're on single number two of a record and right now the trajectory is is pretty rock and roll but a lot of you know Galen's songwriter and lyrical connection is still in there so that's retained but yeah I mean you guys are kind of shredding right now man I think you know you guys have such an energy right now with your songwriting and your production that you guys want to want to hit that it, it, I, I think people are going to dig it. <laughs> yeah, I think if I had one overall memo on the record, I think it would be just, you know, the guys put a lot of hard work into this, and they I think they found a sound that's unique to them that has a lot of energy and it's going to be unexpected in such a good way. So, that's where I would leave that. Like you're really slamming on it. Yeah. Uh, ready? I really, I really enjoy learning from his workflow and seeing just how like his studio works and trying to incorporate it into mine and, and I'm producing some other songs on this album that we're releasing. So just like incorporating his production with my production um, and learning from him really. Yeah. This song is heavier than our usual songs. Um, so it's really allowed me to like lean in and really dig in and play really hard. Money, oh money. Oh my god. <laughs> Are you, 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 you ready for your cage match? To a big studio to record the drums, and I loved that so much. It was just a wonderful space to be in. Will had mentioned that he's going to harmonize the guitar solo in vibration. And man, that is really, <laughs> I'm very excited to hear what that sounds like. Yeah. Guitarmony. Just crank your speakers as high as they go and blast this song. And that's helped me continue, but I think if I was touring with a crew set, like... Let's try it. So we're on day three, oh, recording Vibration here at Sunbury Studios. 
Last night we recorded all the main vocals. Today we are working on the intro to the song and we're actually so we're highlighting each of the frequencies specific to the seven chakras. Scale, so that as the song starts, we're hoping that it kind of like activates your whole body and then you're in right from the start. Do you want a polyphonic sound? Polyphonic sound? It's gonna be sick! <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be cool to see how people react to a definite change in genre and energy in you know just overall sonic experience I think you know I think people are gonna be really you know pleasantly surprised at what we're at what we're up to with this next one the production level and the production quality of the songs has been dramatically increased due to working with um, our producer Jeff Martin has definitely been a constant reminder of what it means to be professional because he's had you know a lengthy experience in the music industry so I find myself being constantly you know challenged in that way it's been so fun also because like he's such a positive guy and he makes us all feel so welcome when he's like we're just we just get into like messing around and it just can get really lighthearted, and that always keeps the creative flow so smooth but yeah, I mean, everything has its challenges and it's just kind of how we just go with the flow. We work through the things as they come up. That sends it. As far as the song writing goes, I've personally been exploring a lot of different avenues and lyrically um, and trying to take back how wordy I've been in the past and try to condense what I'm trying to say whereas in the past I may have like done a whole blanket statement but how to take you know 12 to 20 words and narrow it down into three or four and get the same message across potentially even more effectively all right guys we have my homie Hoea who's about to sing backup vocals on this song Hoea! Bro. We completely gutted the whole thing. It started out as a longer song. We had wordy verses. The chorus was completely different, but there was just something a little, you know, on the nose about it that we were like, you know, let's let's look at this a little differently. And so I started, you know, looking into those emotions of like loneliness a little bit more and you know, seeing what what could come out through words or poetry and Ooh, I'm glad we did this work on the song because it is a, uh, it's a banger, bro. So Who's your hero? Huh? Who's your hero? Perry Farrell. For sure. No scene, no scene, no scene. Cut the scene. Cut this scene cut, bro. <laughs>